god. What's up, man? You know PewDiePie, right? No shit, I know him. Why? What's up? You heard he's a racist now, right? What? So, we all know PewDiePie, he's a big star, big comedian. To be honest, he's not even that fucking funny. No, seriously, we know the biggest star on YouTube and what he has done in his career. If you haven't heard, Disney and YouTube both drop PewDiePie for anti-Semitic videos. In quotation, everyone is giving YouTube and Disney heat for, in reality, if we look at it from an objective standpoint, I do not blame YouTube or Disney at all for them dropping PewDiePie. And just let me explain for a moment. Let me explain for a moment. The Wall Street Journal posted an article saying how Disney dropped PewDiePie for anti-Semitic posts. You mean videos, right, to morons? As a response to this, other articles and news outlets began jumping on this bandwagon and supporting the Wall Street Journal, supporting YouTube, supporting Disney in their response to just dropping PewDiePie from the network, right? This really just shows the power of how the media works because PewDiePie did say in his video that YouTube and Disney were backed into a corner by these media sources. And I 100% agree with this statement, Felix. I feel as that we're putting so much heat towards Disney and YouTube being like, oh, you guys are doing this. You guys are dropping PewDiePie. You're dropping a show, Scare PewDiePie, all because of something that's not even real. And firstly, I just want to say that it's not really their fault because the Wall Street Journal and all these other news outlets out here or people that report fake news or whatever they have power and basically they are pushing and pushing saying oh pewdiepie is anti-semitic pewdiepie is this pewdiepie is a racist pewdiepie is a nazi and you guys are really supporting this person that's being such a nazi and such a criminal and support killing the jews and all of these other racist things he's just saying all these anti-semitic posts that he's been posting and this is what really made them drop them because they backed them into a corner where they had to respond to this no matter what the consequences were and even if you watch wall street journal's video basically the video that they made portraying pewdiepie being anti-semitic being a nazi and all this other crazy stuff the videos were basically just segments taken from pewdiepie's videos where he makes jokes and some of the jokes have Nazi imagery and all this stuff. And also the video where he does the Fiverr situation, which completely is rational. PewDiePie is basically showing that people on Fiverr would do anything for just five bucks. Basically, the video goes way over the head of WSJ or Wall Street Journal. And basically, they make the article anyway, not doing any type of looking up or reasoning or anything not doing any type of research on it just saying you know what we're going to try to destroy pewdiepie's career destroy his reputation and everything we don't care what the consequences are jk rowling also jumps into this situation wait who the fuck are you no seriously jk you have nothing to do with this shit stay out of it go make more harry potter books why are you even involved in this the YouTube community, from Keemstar upwards to everybody, basically have been going outwards, making videos, making posts, going tweeting, just defending PewDiePie constantly. And there's one specific article that changed the title of their video due to the backlash of just so many people just going at them going at them and tweeting at them the youtube community just backlashing on it why are you defending a racist all you youtubers are racist i wouldn't be surprised if this is another article that is made as a response to all the backlash coming from the youtube community 
not one article will show the support of the YouTube community PewDiePie has. Not one article will show the support HDH3 gave with him being a Jew and not offended by the videos at all. Now, one article will show how nobody really is offended from these jokes besides the news, besides the media, besides the people trying to throw these fake news. It's really just disgusting to see fake news triumph. But that's the situation. That's organizations. That's what they'll do. They'll do anything just for a couple of people to come their way and go, oh, man, PewDiePie's a racist. Well, let me just check this out and see if this is actually true. This might actually be true. I don't know. And that's basically all they're trying to do is get people triggered. And just it's just so disgusting to see stuff like that. In defense, in PewDiePie's defense, he should not have lost anything. He shouldn't lose anything. This is just way blown out of proportion from just going from simple little jokes to him being anti-Semitic and supporting the Nazis now. It's just blown over people's heads. It's blown way out of proportion. It's just making someone uh, from a smaller organization, someone who is big and as famous as him, seem like just such a bad person. And that can relate to a lot to the Eminem song, how the media will just try to portray you as this bad person from just saying one simple thing. And this all can relate to Chris Rock. If you remember, I don't know if many people remember this, but Chris Rock did say, I think two years ago, a joke about 9-11 and the Twin Towers. And once he said that joke, he got so much backlash from so many different people from New York, from towns, just so many people backlash. And I'm like, man... Why would you say this joke? It wasn't even funny. It's 9-11. You shouldn't be making these jokes now. And all these people are just like, man, 9-11 happened so long ago. It's just a joke. Let it go. And eventually it died down. Chris Rock gets no consequences. But because of fake news, because of people, because of all this stuff going on, PewDiePie being a YouTuber and YouTubers do nothing besides, oh, we're just going to sit here. We'll make a video. We'll post it. Boom. Get views. Get money. Oh, throw it up in the air. Brand new day. That's all YouTubers are portrayed as. And because they're portrayed as this, the fake news will do anything. They will do anything to try to stop these people. Chris Rock receives no consequences. Big person, but no consequences. No one drops him. No one does anything. Just gets backlash. PewDiePie, backlash. Companies dropping him. Companies look at him like such a bad person. All these fake news and these big news outlets now portraying PewDiePie as this racist and this bad person. It's just not fair and it's not also just not fair to PewDiePie. It's not fair to YouTubers out here that YouTubers have to be treated in such a way where it's like, oh, all you guys just do is just sit on your computer, edit a video, put it on YouTube, you get money. You, you, you get no work ethic out of it. You do nothing. You just do this and do that. Boom, video is up. You make money. It makes no sense how people really just get triggered over stuff like that. YouTubers make money, post a video. It triggers people. Nothing new there. Nothing new there. I just think, like, it's just unfair to these type of people that do YouTube videos, that live off of YouTube and everything, that they have to be treated in such a fashion because of them being a YouTuber. And I think PewDiePie did say that in the video. I'm not sure. I didn't really watch the video. And it's just, like, unfair to these type of people, to all the YouTubers out there, unfair that they have to be treated like that just because of a simple job that they want to do that it's fun for them and the media just has so much fake news to report to on just to try to make anybody that's famous look bad and they really try to compare PewDiePie to Donald Trump where they both talk about the media and how the media is fake and it portrays people in a fake way that's two different things Donald Trump we're not even going to go into the situation with that PewDiePie is completely reasonable and completely logical for saying that the media has blown it out of proportion and made such a fake calling over it just a fake calling over it really it's just a fake calling over it and it's not fair to YouTubers out there it's not fair to PewDiePie it's just not fair to him PewDiePie makes a video though having to apologize and he's apologizing for the jokes okay that's one thing but when you have to apologize to everybody in the world for what you've done it, it doesn't no 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 that should not how it goes PewDiePie has not done a single thing besides make a couple of jokes that people 
aren't even triggered about, but you're triggered about. PewDiePie should not have to say sorry for this stuff. Okay, the jokes are one thing to say sorry for. Okay, people that are offended about the jokes, I'm sorry. But he shouldn't have to say sorry to everybody else out there. And he should not have to say sorry to YouTube or Disney. Because YouTube and Disney, they got backed into a corner to make them drop him. Because that's what they wanted. And that's what they had to do. Everybody else is making these fake articles, these fake news on PewDiePie, doing all this extra stuff. They deserve to give PewDiePie an apology. And not one news article out there, not one article, not one anything, will go into the depths to go and just say, hey, PewDiePie, we're sorry for doing this, we're sorry for making this video, etc. And that is just something the media will never do. I don't know if we'll ever see that. I don't know if PewDiePie will ever be the same after this. He's still gaining subs, a bunch of subs actually. But I don't know if we'll see any type of remorse from media for trying to portray PewDiePie as such a bad person. And getting all of his stuff canceled. That's just taking it too far. And I think the media deserves to apologize to PewDiePie more than PewDiePie needed to apologize to everybody else in the world. The jokes to apologize for one thing, but the media needs to apologize to PewDiePie for portraying him as such a person that he's not.